I brought a friend today because today is all about dinosaurs. I'm really excited to do this puzzle I got as a present. 750 pieces, World of Dinosaurs by Crocodile Creek. I've never done a Crocodile Creek puzzle before, so I'm not quite sure what I'll see inside. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing, then a time lapse, and I'll give you my review and a puzzle tip at the end. So let's get this thing open. All right, so we're ready to open the box. He is pretty well sealed down to like some sticky tape here. And I'm noticing at the back, it says animal identifier and poster included inside. So I'll be learning about dinosaurs. Also, one thing I noticed is this thing is like straight up and down poster style. You usually get a lot more like landscape orientation with puzzles um, or squares. So I'm excited to kind of have that fun dynamic. Um, let's use my handy dandy implement, get it open. So far, so good. I can't open it upside down, so let's do the shuffle. Awesome! All right, right off the bat, a rather good sized poster. This is what I'll be making today. So that shape. And then on the back, I've got kind of like a who's who guide of all these guys, which is fun. I see the dinosaur I did a report on in uh, second grade right here. So that's exciting. Um, I'll refer to that. Perfect. The puzzle pieces themselves are pretty shiny. Um, and they've got kind of like this Crocodile Creek logo on the back. I bet I could cheat a little bit and try and puzzle it on the back, but I'm going to go with the front end puzzles instead. Um, where's the bag? There's no bag because they care about the planet. Bonus points. All right, anything else I can remind about this puzzle? It looks like most of the pieces are pretty standard shapes. Um, nothing too crazy, just variations on a square. And what I will want to know is how well do they stick together? Are there any false fits? And do they slide well on my puzzle mat? Pretty good on the puzzle mat. All right, I'm ready to get this guy started. Let's do it time lapse style. I am missing two pieces. I've been doing this puzzle for over a week. This guy was a lot harder than he looked. And here I am putting the last things in and I'm short two. Please tell me about your puzzle piece horror stories in the comments so I can feel better. Um, I'm pretty bummed. I'm missing this guy right here and this guy right here. I swear I've looked under the puzzle mat, under the puzzle itself, in the box, on the floor, under the, the poster. It's not here. They're not here. So, fun. Um, other than my two missing pieces, this puzzle was great. I liked it. It was actually way more challenging than I thought it was gonna be, primarily because of all the colors. Like, it would have been a little too easy if you had like a green dinosaur and a blue dinosaur. Um, but since all the dinosaurs kind of have like mixed things, there were a few that had like the same kind of color patterns, so you couldn't kind of like shift them to the side together. So I liked that. Um, really bummed about those pieces though. 
So tip of the puzzle. Uh, the thing that helped me on this one was like taking all the pieces that had nothing special in them, like no dinos, just like this white background stuff, and sticking them to the side. It's always better if you can like narrow down the puzzle pieces you're actually actively looking at. So I like specifically at some point in the beginning, like went around looking for all the pieces that were mostly white and shoved them in a the corner and then brought them over. So it's my tip of the puzzle. Hope you enjoyed this one. This one was awesome, but I have no idea what happened to the pieces. Let me know if you figure it out. All right, I'll see you guys in my next puzzle. Hopefully this one is 100% complete. See you there.